Welcome to International Dyno Authority. Today, we have a 1968 Ford F100. That's not an F150, it's an F100. Under the hood is a 2018 Coyote. That's a Mustang, five liter. Run off the factory computer. It's mated to a six speed transmission. So a six R80 behind it. And Wally's gonna work his way through tuning the engine start to finish. Get the fueling correct, get the ignition correct, and mainly the cams on these are fully adjustable. So we're gonna make some power today. We're gonna to make this run nice and smooth, but at the same time, when this truck leaves here today, it's going to be extremely fast. All right. Coyote motor. Anybody who has been under the hood of a Mustang is going to recognize this style of intake. You can see the stock computer and this actually you plug in with HP tuners. You read it, you write to it, you tune it with HP tuners. Hooked up behind this we've got a 6R80. So the 2018 never came with a 6R80. It came with a 10 speed. So it has a separate transmission controller. On the dyno, we're simply taking that transmission controller, putting it into fourth gear, locking it, and then running it through and doing our passes to get the fueling and get the cam timing, ignition timing correct. It's running pretty good so far. Let's see what else Wally can do with it. Now, one other point of interest, the package comes with a specific fuel pressure of 60 pounds. So they're asking for 60 pounds. So right here, if you're doing a swap, this is a great thing to have. You've got a fuel pressure regulator, and you want to set that so as soon as you start the key, as soon as you turn it on, it stays at 60 pounds, it doesn't go all over the place, and it just simply maintains that fuel pressure. This 1968 F100 is running extremely well with the five liter Coyote motor under the hood. It came in and it's a little weak everywhere. It just comes with a generic tune and that's why it's here today to make sure it's running as good as it possibly can and to get Wally to walk through making sure the fueling is correct. There were a few things that it was doing a little bit strange and Wally's already found those and fixed those up. now. It's a unique setup because it has the five liter from 2018, but it doesn't have the 10 speed. It's got the six speed transmission, which means that there's a separate transmission controller. We're not having any trouble with that today, which is really good. Let's walk through the numbers where we are so far. And I'm telling you, this engine is healthy. The way it's set up is very nice and we're not having any trouble with it. We're just walking through the way we get our horsepower to come through the wheels and make this a real fast truck. Here we go. 300 foot-pounds at 4,700 RPM is where it came in. And you can see it's like a spaghetti noodle. It's really weak. It's, it's running fine, but it's not really making any serious um, acceleration on torque. The other thing we can see is it's going up nicely for horsepower, but it doesn't really do anything until after 5,600, and then it just kind of shoots up. So nobody wants to have to drive their F100 at 5600 rpm so what we're doing is slowly working through the bottom end wally has made a series of passes very low rpm to fix up the bottom end and now he's working through the entire range so let's show you where we are eight passes in now we're starting at 300 foot pounds we're pulling all the way through we've got some little areas that are kind of uh, still need to be fixed up here but the horsepower comes up and just simply pulls all the way from 4,000 all the way up. It's now making 412 horsepower at the wheels, 379 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. Let's continue this process and see where it ends up. We end up 
with a nice, clean tune on this 68 F100. We end up with 418 horsepower at the wheels, 376 foot-pounds of torque. What we always like to emphasize here is, even though this is a Mustang engine, this is in a truck, so we want to make torque as soon as we can make torque. When it came in, it was peaking 300 foot-pounds at 4,900 RPM. It now makes 300 foot-pounds right off the hop. Let's look at an overlay of the before and the after so you can get an idea of just how much improvement is available, what was done to this, and where we are now in comparison. So when we show these two graphs, what we're looking at is a torque line here when it first came in. And we can see this torque line beyond being a lot lower and only making 300 foot-pounds here, it's all over the place. This, this engine is uh, fueling and defueling. It's doing a lot of strange things because it's in a new home and it needs to have some help. When we're all done, look at how nice and smooth that is. It's great that this is making a whole bunch more torque, but the, the, the point of this is that it runs really nicely. The cam timing is beautiful and this engine is gonna be a lot of fun to run. We are up 50, 60, 70 horsepower, 50, 60, 70 foot pounds all the way through the range. That is where you want this truck to run.